Hey Planner friends, it's Nia. Welcome to Life with Nia. Today we are unboxing the July cloth and paper subscription box. I received two boxes in one box and um, I do the half letter for my inserts and the HP mini. So um, there are some duplicates, but for the sake of showing you the different sizes for the two things that I, I receive, I will show you the inserts in both sizes. So this month's box is based on a book or reading theme, which I don't know. I don't know exactly how I feel about that. I have been struggling to read probably for more than a year now. Um, I am an avid reader. I love to read, but for whatever reason, it's just not been the thing. So I'm hopeful for tools that will excite me about reading again, but I don't, I don't know that anything is going to help at this point other than just me getting back into reading. So let's take a look at what we have here. I'm going to pull everything out of here and then I'll pull the inserts out of the second one. You can see the difference. Before cloth and paper changed the box, I used to receive one with the Pinspiration and one without. So I um, would always do the pen test because that was fun. But um, we do now get pins with this box or highlighters or something. So we'll see what we have going on there as well. So, let's get all the little things together here, and we'll start with our little package of journaling cards and what's inside the box. We have our September calendar card. Can't even believe it's going to be September already. Um, so, we have that. Have our member access for July and then we have our what's inside okay so the first thing is this library journaling card which is so cute this is like that little receipt that we received that one month for me um, I just love it aesthetically super cute y'all remember the old old school the little library card you write your info on there when it's due back that's what this is not everything that is faced can be changed, but nothing can be changed until it is faced. We have a monthly reflection card. And this one says Bibliophile. And rereading the same book unlocks new discoveries. Are you digging deeper into the story? or uncovering something new about yourself. So we've got that. Then we have a set of library page flags. Bear with me here. All right, so here is one of these guys shifted. Here is our library page flags. They're, these are cute. I'm assuming a uni pin would work best on here. So there's 50 sheets on each one. They're 1.25 inches by one inch. This is palette one. Doesn't have a color name per se. Um, <clears throat> so it is rich mahogany, walnut, And the pages of an old book. Um, I'm assuming that goes rich mahogany, walnut, and the pages of an old book, but I don't know. <laughs> that is what that's what the colors are called. Um, these can be used to highlight text, bookmark pages, or add extra notes. Just show you real quick. Uh, do I have a uni pen over here? Uni pen is my for 
transparent, but there we go. So the the white part doesn't hold the ink as well as the top portion that has the color but good old uni pen does not smear so we've got our library page flags these are cute I love the size this is I will be using these for various things I'm a sticky note addict so no complaints there from me Next, we have a leather bookmark with a gentle arch. Our leather bookmark is a modern take on a classic fabric from science fiction to history books. You'll use it to mark where you've left off. So here is the bookmark. There's the interior. And you're just like putting that on the corner of your book. I feel like it would be a little bulky, but um, super cute, different aesthetic just sort of mark your page. Um, love that. That's cute. So we have our bookmark. Then we have this is the <clears throat> left, left bound annotation notepad and it's got the same oh leathery material um same as the bookmark slightly different in color the bind is a little bit darker but it says notate um cp up in the corner it feels so nice so this is Discover your inner world as you delve into inner thoughts with our left-bound annotation notepad. Write down quotes that move you or provoke deep emotions. Dare to ask questions as you leaf through the pages and add in snippets of interesting information. And so this is a, they said um, in an Instagram story, it's a vellum paper. Um, not sure what the best pen to use on here is, but let's try a few. So we have our um, uni pen. And you can see through the paper. So I did the what's inside. And that worked nicely. I have a zebra blend. smear to it. I feel like if I'd given it a second, it would have dried, but I don't know. I'm going to do it one more time and give it <clears throat> time to dry. And then um, let's try the Uniball Zento. That one did okay. Um, and then we've got some pins in here as well. So none of those pins that I just tried were included in the box. So let's look at the <clears throat> pins that were included. We have a black drawing pin that is 0.5 millimeters and a dual color highlighter. And unfortunately, I was gonna say they don't tell us the name of the pins anymore, but I just tried a uni pin and we received a uni pin. This uni pin though is 0.5. Um, the one that I did the test on is a oil based marking pin. This one is water and fade proof pigment ink. So and this is a little bit bolder as well and that took that wonderfully and then we have a mild liner mix so it looks like we've got a pink and a purple single ended pro 
prior to use press tip on paper for 30 seconds to engage ink. So I don't know which that zebra blend did dry. I don't know. Like, give me one color or the other. It doesn't work well for getting one or the other. Oh, purple, you can kind of tilt and get that purple, but you can't really tilt. And, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That's not my thing. Uh, <laughs> pick a color. It's interesting. Now, I don't know anything about this. This is, it's got an interesting mechanism here. I'm not sure how that's working, but I, I think that's just to engage the ink. It does work nicely on this vellum. I can see though, it's still wet. So you definitely gotta let it dry. I don't like two colors. Give me one. So this is lavender and fuchsia. What do y'all think about this? And am I missing something in how it works? Let me know because I'm by no means the expert on the, the mix ink color. But that is a mild liner mix. Okay, so we've got our pen set. And we have our left bound annotation notepad. Um, and I don't know how many sheets are in the notepad, but it looks like a good amount, maybe 50. So we've got that. Then we have our read sticky notes. And so Sundays are meant for carrying books around everywhere you go. Tuck your read sticky notes into your pocket and track your progress, even as you're reading on the train or finishing a quick coffee break. I don't know about in my pocket. That's a big sticky note, but you've got a place to put um, the title of the book, the author, the start date, and the end date. And at the bottom, we have a quote by James Baldwin. It says, love takes off masks that we fear we cannot live without and know we cannot live within. Um, these are four by 4.25 inches. There are 50 sticky notes on the sheet. So that is the read sticky notes. Okay, we also have the Lux book sleeve. So this is, if you're familiar with the vegan leather products, this has the same feel to that. Um, I love that we got something different this time and it is not a, for lack of a better term, cinch sack. It, it has a closure to it. Um, it looks luxurious, so um, high quality and it, you know, you can, there's some sort of closing, like the flap folds over and then you've got a way to sort of keep it closed. So this is the Lux book sleeve that takes your essentials as you explore corridors of books with our Lux book sleeve. Indulge in a quiet afternoon, writing thoughts and planning out your reading list, whether you're in a library or a local cafe. It's got a sleek, compact design that protects all your notes. So you can put your book in here, but you can put so many other things in here as well. Um, you can put your planner in here, depending on the size. I just put those sticky notes and that annotation in there. This is last month's traveler's notebook. Um, that can go in there. Now you're getting a little chunky, but that's cute. I like that. Love the color. Not sure what color it is. It looks kind of like ristretto, but I it's nicer than ristretto. I'm not a super big fan of ristretto, but it's got a grayish color, like a grayish brown. Um, it says cloth and paper embossed on the back. And then the interior is like the unfinished backing. 
material, which is nice and soft. So that is the Lux book sleeve. Okay, so then we have our dashboard and the dashboard is the purpose of art dashboard. Awaken a sense of curiosity as you uncover new perspectives. The purpose of art dashboard inspires you to breathe in art through everyday interactions dealt into creative angles, even as you seek logical answers. So we've got our half letter and then we've got our HP mini. Um, and so it says the purpose of art is to lay bare the questions that have been hidden by the answers and over the top of the word art and over the top of the word answers. It is sort of like this silver foil coloring. Um, at the bottom says James Baldwin 1962. There's a little cloth and paper at the very bottom. And then it says art in various forms often seeks to unveil the complexities of life and human nature. Instead of providing simple definitive answers, it raises questions that challenge your understanding and perceptions. Baldwin is saying that art serves to reveal and explore the deeper, often overlooked questions of life and human experience. Questions that may have been overshadowed or, or obscured by simplistic or widely accepted answers. I really like the um, aesthetic on this one. I have not been super loving the last few dashboards. Like, the pictures are not my thing. So, this is... Um, a nice change of pace for me. I really like these. Okay, so we have those, and then we have our inserts. These are the Bibliophile second edition inserts. So I have them in HP Mini, have them in Half Letter. And it says plan out your next book, haul, or trip to the library with our Bibliophile second edition inserts as you hunt for. Your next favorite story, mark the dates you plan to read onto each column once you finish the last chapter. Our reading log allows you to rate your favorite books and write reviews. So you have a to be read. There's a place for dates at the top. Um, now this is where I need a uh, example. So in the back, we've got our little example here. So you um, can put the name of the book and the author here in this first part. Um, I am assuming, I guess so it says uh, in the first one, it says July 2nd, 4th, 5th, 6th. So those are the dates that you read and then it, it skips a couple of days. And then it says July 8th at the end. I'm, I'm guessing that's when you finished. And this at the very top, it's got like July 2nd through July 30th. So this is the month of July. Listen, I'm not reading this many books in a month, but okay. And I don't know that I'm going to get it done in six days. That's, <laughs> I feel a little pressure there. I feel a little pressure. Or seven days, I feel a little pressure. I guess that's for the whole week. You, you've got a week. So It's like a little calendar in the box. I think I'm understanding it. Anyways, I like the example. So we've got that and there are, so that's on the front side and the back side. Then there is a reading log on the next page and the sample reading log has like this space used for the date then the name of the book and the author here in this bigger space. And then um, the what they did for the first row is they gave it like a number of stars or you could do like five out of five or three out of five or whatever your score is, however you want to rate it. And then a little description of like maybe what you felt when you read it. Um, reading this was like stepping into a kaleidoscope of introspection. What struck me most about the novel was the exploration of the cyclical nature of history. So you can just like put your thoughts about the book down at the bottom. And so your reading log is all of the rest of the inserts. So you only have one page of 
front and back, I mean two, one to two, of your list, which I don't think is enough for avid readers. Like, I think avid readers would want more of these than just one. That's my two cents. Um, because this is not even, un at least I don't think, without counting it, I can't say definitively, but you have enough room for six on here and six on the back. That doesn't even match up with the number of spaces, I don't think, on here. So it's like you have way more logs than you have the ability to log books. That's just my constructive criticism without actually counting. Um, <laughs> and I could be completely off base on that. But just a, just a thought. It would be nicer to have more of the to be read to make your book list. I would like to have like maybe one a month. I know some people read several books a month. Um... So that would be interesting. Anyway, or six of them, you know, front and back, one a month. Anyway, so that is the Bibliophile second edition inserts. So we have the, the inserts and we have the dashboard. We have our leather bookmark, our red sticky notes, our left bound annotation notepad which could also be used as a top bound. And then there is the set of pins, the um, library journaling card, the monthly reflection card, and the calendar card. library page flags and the Lux book sleeve. So that is the July cloth and paper intentions box. Let me know what your favorite thing is. I really like the annotation notepad, the library page flags, and the journaling card, the library journaling card. Those three items are my favorite this month. Let me know, actually, and let me let me just say, the sleeve is pretty um, top tier as well. Let me know what your favorite things are. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Be sure to hit that like button, share it with a friend, and if you're new, consider subscribing. I'll see you back here next time. Bye!